Yes, yes, y'all. Yes, yes, y'all. You know what it is. It's them kids and wives and 925s, but we are still married to the games. Episode 377. Yes, sir. It's your boy Gabe Patillo with Tim Router, Ed Placencia, and Chris McCracken, of course. And as always, we are talking games and life, life and games. Thank you guys so much for being here. Oh, snap. Um, how is everyone? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good. How you we're, doing, man? we're great, man. Night show. Let's do this. After thing, it's post Thanksgiving. Yes. Let's, we're getting into Christmas. That's right. Come on. I, everybody's got their come off their trip to fan coma. Trip to fan coma. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, um, and just to announce too, right here at the top today, the day that this comes out, Friday, the whatever of December. Yes, <laughs> is going to be the last day to get MTTG four hundred tickets for ten dollars. What? Friday the sixth. After this, it goes up to fifteen dollars. That's oh, right, snap. We Where do I go to get them for $10? You go to marriedtothegames.com slash MTTG400. Tell them. And uh, we're already a quarter of the way sold. Dude, oh, I'm just man, saying. Get Hello. out. First week, That's baby. Amazing. First yeah. week. Come on. We're so, famous. Uh, <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> to our parents. Or like, or so, yes, yes. Yes, I love it. Um, Yeah, man. Marriedtothegames.com slash MTTG 400, if you're going to make the trek. We've been talking to a lot of people. I've seen a lot of new names, y'all. I know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, snap. We're going to have such a good time. I can't believe it. I know right? Jeff Swan ain't going to show up. <laughs> yeah, he should come. <laughs> he should he come. He really should, man. We should oh, start a GoFundMe for him to raise that's $10. right. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I just loved seeing people's reaction to the venue when we posted those pictures. Yeah, man. Oh, that was so oh. fun. Yeah. Being that was like, awesome it, to see. Yeah, it's, we, we stepping it on up. Yeah. Um, Tim. Yes, sir. How was your Thanksgiving? What have you been doing? I How was ate your Black Friday? A lot of food. Did you? I ate, uh, man, okay, so you know when, have you ever been like so full that like your stomach is like, has a heartbeat? <laughs> like that's yeah because wow. it's it's <laughs> nice. processing so much yeah it was it was, it was brutal go. it was someone, brutal. someone call nine one one for right. Tim please exactly. yeah. you like that that guy from that Schwarzenegger movie that had the, that was on Mars Total yeah Recall, and yes. Total Recall. Yeah. exactly yeah. exactly Ooh. um get ready he had for aliens surprise. in his stomach too yeah exactly um, interesting man it was great so my in-laws hosted my mother-in-law is an amazing cook she had, had like everything planned out in, in advance uh and we just had family over and we just had so much fun together in the morning we went over uh to their place and i we helped um dress up the turkey stuff it and um and get it all prepared for the oven and and we watched the thanksgiving day parade is that mm. what you call it dress it up I've never heard that. No, no, whatever. Yeah, dress oh, up like the add the dressing and all that kind of stuff. I, no, yeah, I just I've not heard that phrase. That's before. actually not what we did. We actually, I should say, prepared it because uh, we do. Well, what yeah, we yeah. do, we stuff the bird with different herbs and lemons mm-hmm. and oranges and all kinds of stuff. We don't stuff it with stuffing. We stuff it with all kinds like onion. Oh, I see. I see. And then and then we take a uh, a uh, cloth and and dip it in butter and then drape it over so it's like a turkey shawl as it were mm. um and so that's draped in butter and man that turkey comes out brown and del- and juicy and just it's perfect every time so um so we helped uh we helped mom with that and then we were watching the thanksgiving day parade and we had some coffee with eggnog in it yes i said it coffee <laughs> with eggnog Ed, in Ed, it. don't listen don't listen Ed. Ed. i know I'm, i yep, just can't plug, hear me shaking my head right now plug, plug your ears <laughs> plug your ears <laughs> And it was a good stuff too. So I was I was very mm. happy. I, I sent a picture to the guys in the morning saying "Happy Thanksgiving, good morning," mm-hmm. and Ed's like, "Ugh." Yeah. Um, but it yeah, was we had the a, good stuff. <laughs> he was offended. He was sure. very offended. I apologize. But yeah, uh, <laughs> it was great. Black Friday. We honestly didn't uh, we didn't do a ton of shopping. Um, speaking of shopping, though, the discussion we had last week about Nintendo. Uh, we decided um, because they were doing their two ninety nine deals, we're go- just going to get the Switch console. Yeah. So Sand is coming to town with a Switch console, and I think that'll be great. 
But um, yeah, so we we went ahead and did that. And thank you, everybody, for all your comments on Discord, too. I saw them in really great points. You know, if I did want to play with her, like, yeah, it'd be easier just to plug her right in. And so we'll we'll have the switch up here in her playroom in the TV uh, here, and it'll be perfect. Um, so yeah, I didn't, we didn't do a whole lot, but, but poor Lauren, this is like, this is the start. It's like her Super Bowl right now from here on out. So she basically worked all weekend. So she was there Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Um, so Piper and I were kind of holding it down and we had some fun. We went to, um, above all, which is a little trampoline place. Um, and, uh, we just watched some, some movies on Disney plus and, and we just had a good time and we went to the store and kind of helped her out whenever we could. And, and so it was, it was actually very laid back and very relaxed. It was nice. No traveling anywhere. I mean, it was, it was poured rain, what, on Saturday yeah, or sure whatever. Did. It was awful. Just, you just stay in kind of weather. And, um, and it was great. So um, this weekend's going to be a lot more of the same for Lauren. She's, she's just all working. So I'll be doing stuff around the house. We, we got um, decorated the house now that it's after Thanksgiving. And I got the garland up with the lights on the house. We've got our trees up. We didn't do any real trees this year. We are now, uh, we are now part of the the fake tree family, and it's actually really great. There's no, no, no serious cleanup to do or anything. I do miss the smell of a good. Real, I know, uh, tree. right? The so one that is the one thing I miss. But uh, I'm over it. It's great. We're having a good time. So we're in full Christmas spirit swing now, and it's great. Um, you will be very proud of me. I finally watched Avengers Endgame. Oh, you did! Oh, wow! And, and thank you, Disney Plus, and uh, loved it, and uh, it was fantastic. So now I'm gonna carry on because I didn't watch uh, Spider Man Far From Home. Yeah, I haven't watched that one either yet because I knew there you were. You haven't? No. no, I knew there were some Good spoilery night. things, so I just I just avoided it. And basically, I put I put my Marvel life on hold mm -hmm. for anything until I saw Endgame. And I gotta say, like I was kind of proud of myself. I kind of knew where it was headed. You and had to have. Yes, of course. Uh, there was a few things that I did not see coming, and that was great. And like I was pretty much spoiler-free and completely enjoyed it. Um, and so it was, it was awesome. So uh, let's see, what else? Uh, I, I think I said last week we went to see Frozen 2, which was really, that was fun. So yeah, man, life is good and it's it's hectic and it's holiday and it's crazy busy, but it's it's a lot of fun and we're we're definitely enjoying it. Um, on the gaming front, I still have not played anything on my console this past week. There's really, just been, yeah, there's just tons, just a lot going on and just haven't been able to do it. I still was working on uh, the project I was working on for a little bit over Thanksgiving break, just because I had the time and nobody bothered me. So it was some some fun coding stuff that I was learning and you know Clash Royale it as usual but um yes did you the buy the new, thing that that one started over too yes and i bought that the past royale i've basically been doing that now just because that's the one game i consistently play every day and you got to give them a little bit of some love so mm -hmm. supercell supercell is getting some love and that's that's how that how goes. often does their season or whatever uh reset once a month yep oh okay yeah it's it's a monthly thing um so yeah it's been it's been super great um i I'm going to be doing an extra live stream <laughs> this yes. Saturday night. I'm going to take an overnight from probably 11 p.m. Central Time to 11 a.m. on Sunday. So if anybody wants to have church with me Sunday morning, let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> maybe yeah, maybe Kanye we'll play Sunday services. Kanye, yeah, it's like we'll play right. a little Kanye. But I'm super excited. I have my camera. I'm, I'm in the process of getting all that up. I'm going to do some testing. Uh, with the boys and just making sure everything's great. Um, I'm I'm really excited for it, and uh, so I, I hope you guys can join me this weekend. We'll I'll probably be playing a ton of Overwatch, and then I'll uh, I'm gonna try and uh, think of some other things to do, and uh, and just want to make it en as entertaining for you as possible without me falling asleep at all, which would be which would still be kind I was of entertaining, about to say, be entertaining for us. Yeah, because he be, does have a camera, so I, you'll see him. I asleep. do have a camera now. <laughs> that so, yeah. happen. If you right. see me Can't dozing wait. off, yeah, it'll, it's gonna be it's gonna be good stuff. So I, I'm super excited, and and uh, it just makes me more excited for extra life, and just what a great cause, and what a great thing that that has uh, that they've been doing for so long, and it's nice to to really get involved in it this year. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it for me. So I will see you all on Saturday night, and uh, and we will go from there. There you go. Yeah. Boom, baby. And uh, the other, the yin to Tim's yang on that extra life 
Oh, yeah, yeah I like that. Yes. Chris McCracken. Yes. Uh, so I will be picking up the day shift on Saturday. I'm going to start with that. Um, there were some things that came up this week to where I was like, ah, oh, geez, I'm going to have to push it a weekend. <laughs> and I was able to iron those kinks out. So I'm back on oh, track. Good. I'm going to be this Saturday. I'm either going to be doing 10 to 10 or 11 to 11. I want to make sure that my end is close to or overlapping slightly or somewhere around the time when Tim is starting. There you go. Um, so I'm going to try to time it in that way. Um, so yeah, come hang out. I as well, I'm going to be playing a lot of multiplayer games. So there's probably gonna be some overwatch, going to be some apex. There's going to be some call of duty in there. Um, I did because I'm not trying to jump ahead of this for you, Ed, but there is a PlayStation plus game that was just released that I never played. So that's going to be my single player story game that if I need one of those to throw in there, I got one waiting in the wings for me. There you go. Um, so which one is it? Uh, it is uh, Titanfall two. Oh, nice. yeah. I never played the Titanfall 2 when it came out. It came out at a really bad time when, um, amongst all these other games. And I think that yeah. it came out the same time Battlefield 1 did. And that's the one that I got. Mm. Um, oh, OK, so, right. Yeah. So it, and then I just never got around to it. And lo and behold, it showed up on PlayStation Plus. So that's how I'm going to be playing it. Nice. Um, yeah. So it just depends if, if there's a bit of a lull in the multiplayer stuff or if it's just getting frustratingly hard. It's like, all right, let's go to some single player where I can dial in the difficulty to what I want and feel <laughs> yeah. like a master at all this kinds of stuff. There you go. So come check it out. Come watch a little bit of me. Then you watch a little bit of Tim and just have some fun and hang out. And and it's all for the kids. Like that's Gabe right. I say, like all that. Yes. All for the kids. Router, what's your goal? Because I know you're only doing 12 hours. Yeah, and overnight. Uh, my, and, and overnight. So I have I have a, a pretty easy goal, I think. I'm going two hundred dollars and um and we'll just kind of go from there and, and see what happens. Uh I have the utmost confidence that we can we can match that very easily. But you never know. And uh so yeah, I kept it pretty pretty light and pretty easy. Yeah. Chris, what is what is your goal? Uh mine uh is at 500 if i remember Ooh, Ooh, yeah oh, let's nice, get it baby you daytime this. you got this yeah i think it would be a little bit day daytime I, I might have a little bit um more people popping in just because it's middle of the day so yeah, we'll just have to see yeah yeah uh thought about going higher but i was like ah you know i'm still kind of new at this so <laughs> i want to dip my toe in the water i don't want to just be like i can do anything you know, yeah. <laughs> kind of get in there one thousand dollars let's exactly. go <laughs> yeah so that's the plan it's awesome. That's um, great. So backing up for the previous week, uh, we went to Oklahoma for this year's Thanksgiving. I was able to get off of work a little bit early, about half day on Wednesday, got home, we packed up the car and then headed up there. So that way we could just be there on Thanksgiving day and then everybody else would be showing up and we had it as a Thanksgiving lunch. That way the people who had came in from out of town that were going back, they wouldn't be driving late at night or anything to get back home or anything like that. Um, it was a lot of good food as I'm sure is going to be the case for everybody here. And it was a lot of good time with friends and family. After we had lunch and all whoever was leaving to go back to their part of town left, we went over and hung out with some friends that evening um, and just spent a lot of good time with them. And then we woke up and drove home the next day. Uh, it was same thing with us. It feels like our weathers are always very similar to each other. It was a lot of rain on Friday or mm-hmm. Thursday and Friday for us. Um, driving home was not easy because our dog does. She freaks out at windshield wipers. Oh, oh man! So that drive home was not bad, and luckily by the time we started going home, it had gone down to like just a mist, so it wasn't like a pouring rain where I had to constantly do it. But it's like every three minutes or so, it's like okay, put the blanket over. And of course, she knows what's going on, so she's already freaking out when you start lifting up the blanket, so she can't see the windshield wipers, and she just. It, so it was a bit of a struggle for Stacy on the way yeah. home. Oh man, for sure, that's bad. But we we had bought these brand new wiper blades, so you couldn't hear it because the old ones, you know, they're all like hard and they're like making all this noise, and that makes her freak out too. <laughs> so I did everything I could to make it as as easy on her and on us as possible, and we made it home. So it wasn't that go. bad. It could have been a lot worse. So I was thankful that the rain had just kind of gone down to a light mist or a, a light drizzle at the few times that it did pop in. Mm-hmm. Um, outside of that when we got home uh we just kind of took it easy this weekend stacy is working uh she had worked on sunday and then she is going to be doing overnights she's currently doing overnight right now oh at, wow. Oh, wow at a job that she's doing here locally <laughs> mm-hmm. um so we didn't want to do a ton of running around over the weekend we wanted to just kind of take it easy and, and rest and everything because she knew she 
was going to be having to do all this overnight yeah. stuff and we, we didn't want to like wear her out during the day. And then you want to make sure she's nice and rested up for when all this stuff happens because flipping your schedule on its head like that is definitely, it's not easy for anybody. I don't think really, but it's definitely not easy for her. She really struggled with that. So she knows mm. she's got to prepare and get her, her mind ready and all that. And her kind of try to flip her schedule of when she's sleeping and all that kinds of stuff. So got that all good. She's out there killing it as she always does. And then so on the gaming front, um, because I knew this extra life stuff is coming up, I've really been trying to focus in on Death Stranding. Uh, I'm not done with it. I'm in chapter eight. Oh, um, wow, dude. I'm at wow. around 41 hours. Holy in, goodness. And I, I, I think I had said I, I felt like I well, I don't want to spoil anything possibly for, for Ed because I, I don't know what the man necessarily considers a spoiler. I thought I knew how many chapters there were, but I got to the point where I was just like, you know what? I want to know for sure. I don't want to know any more of the story, but I want to know for sure how many chapters. Now I know how many chapters I have left. And so I'm like, OK. And so I'm trying to focus in on on getting to the finish line because I, I, I don't want to be playing this game into January because I want to be able to move on to other things and everything like that. I, I don't yeah. like story heavy games. I don't like them lingering because then I'll start to forget some of the stuff that I saw if it's been like three days yeah. since the last time I jumped in there. Right. Kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So I want to keep it nice and fresh in my mind. And I'm still enjoying my time with it. So all those things that that's my plan is that any this week and then after Extra Life next week. um, this is just really focused on Death Stranding. I don't think that I'm going to be able to get it done before the Game Awards. Not that I need to. I just kind of have this little arbitrary goal in my head. I was like, oh, it'd be nice to have it done before right. the Game Awards. I don't realistically know if that's going to happen. I just don't know if I'm going to be able to devote the time to that with, you know, freelance stuff that's been coming up and all these different things. Um, but I'm going to do my best. Still enjoying it. Still having a lot of fun and still not going to say a whole lot about it because I don't want to ruin anything for Mr. Ed, who is behind me i'm eager to find out where <laughs> so he is because if he says you. i'm still in chapter two <laughs> so I'm, gonna far be, I'm gonna be like oh my gosh still like the title two. screen yeah <laughs> so I, i'm eager to chat it up with mr ed but i need him to have the time to just do things the way that he can and then whenever he's there and can gets experiences some of the stuff i'll let him message me and then we can geek out about this that and whatever or or argue, nice. or we can be like, oh my gosh, this is so crazy, what does this mean? And, and of course, at that point, I may know what it means, but <laughs> we'll just see. <laughs> and that's really been it for me. But Chris, you'll definitely this. finish it, right? Oh yeah, I'll, I'll definitely finish the game. There you go. I mean, unless I reach some point where it's like so difficult or so something crazy, and I just or a game-breaking bug of some sort, but outside of something weird like that, then yeah, I plan to finish the game. Mm, there you go. Yeah. So that is it for me. Oh, a little bit of Apex... And a little bit of Call of Duty, but mostly Death Stranding. And that's been it. Nice. There you go. Nice. Edward? Yes, sir. What's been going on with you, man? You've been doing a lot of Overwatch. A lot of Overwatch, yeah. I mean, it's been it just uh, today, uh, the day of recording, is the last day that Overwatch was free to play for people. So I've that's been right. just giving people every excuse in the world to play. Um uh, my brother-in-law, Nathan Tapman, got himself an Xbox One. I bought him Overwatch, uh, and we played on that for a little bit uh, here That's and there, awesome. kind of just, just kind of like training him. And he didn't want to jump into the game right away, so we made some custom matches 1v1, and I was like, he would choose McCree, and then I would choose McCree. And, okay, this does this. Okay, now stun me. Now fan the hammer, that kind of stuff. So just kind there of like you go. taking nice. well him done. through, uh, which uh, which it was kind of I, – I, I kind of like that idea of just doing one-on-one. -on -one. Let's just – go at your speed and get used to people. And that was kind of a, kind of a fun thing to do. Um, like everyone, we, uh, family, uh, Thanksgiving, um, Sarah's brother, Dave and his wife, Bree were in town. They stayed with us for a few days. And mm -hmm. uh, that means a lot of games. Um, pretty much everything I've ever talked about was played <laughs> during the last few days. Wow. Uh, lots of Jackbox, lots of beat saber, um, oh. just a lot of everything. Mm. Uh, Dave got into star Wars Jedi fallen order while I was here. He also Ooh. played, a, a, um, death stranding or as we called it, Amazon delivery. Uh, oh so my it was God. just, it's just, <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm going to play Amazon delivery. Okay, cool. You know, <laughs> oh my gosh. what's going on just with don't Amazon drop delivery? Any packages. Yeah, exa exactly. Um, <clears throat> I am unfortunately still in chapter two, Chris. I'm very sorry. Uh, oh snap. I didn't get a chance to play a lot of it this yeah. week just because they were in town. And so I wanted mm -hmm. to let him play. Mm -hmm. um, he actually passed me and I watched, I don't know what chapter he got into. It wasn't oh, wow. too far mm -hmm. past where I am. I'm on the mission that will bring me back to the next big cut scene. Um, but uh, it's just, we have such different play styles. You know, the game is all about balancing packages and you've got to, and I am always holding down 
You can either walk with your packages and hit L2 or R2 to kind of keep your balance and maintain your balance, or you can move a little bit slower and always hold L2 and R2, and that like secures your footing. That's how I play the game. I hold L2 and R2 oh. the entire time. Mm-hmm. Dave is a sprinter, and yeah. he's just sprinting and wobbling and flailing all around yeah. and stumbling. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm proud to say I've never so far gotten caught by a BT. Dave did multiple times, and Not so it was that, just kind yeah. of... Fun to fun to watch. Nice. Um, but yeah, uh, Sarah's still playing Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. She was playing that tonight when I came upstairs. That's great. Um, and it's just kind of fun to listen to her. Uh, I, 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 you know, I didn't say anything as far as like any of my real critiques. Most of my critiques have been said here on the podcast and she didn't hear those. And so it's just kind of funny to hear, you know, tonight she encountered a large bird and just said, wow, that bird, um, they could have done a few more proofs on that bird, huh? Oh, oh man, man. <laughs> I looked at Shoot. I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's very true. Yeah. Yes. And then she uh-huh. said, Un- unless they were going for angel slash dirty pigeon. And I was like, you yeah. nailed it again, Sarah. You <laughs> nailed it again. <laughs> well, well done, Sarah. Well done. <laughs> uh, but yeah, she's doing a good job. She's playing it on the story mode. Uh, at one point, she got herself into a little boss battle and she was like, here, play this for me, play it, finish it. And I was like, no, you got this. They're almost dead. You got them. And, and so it was kind of, it was really cool to watch her just press on and she beat the, the guy. And it was just, I felt really happy for her because she beat the boss battle all by herself. And it was really cool to see. Uh, so go. that was awesome. Um, and yeah, uh, I, I kind of mentioned on the podcast before how I kind of have scoffed at the whole Disney plus thing. Um, How dare you, Sarah? I know, right? Sarah <laughs> mentioned that she, uh, her friend, was talking about it, and Sarah kind of had a little bit of uh, FOMO. And we've got the Verizon Unlimited data plan, so we get it free for a year. So I signed us up, nice. and um, uh, we got it on Thursday. By Friday morning, we had watched all of the Mandalorian. <laughs> <So> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Well That's, done. That junk is surprisingly good. I <laughs> really like <laughs> that show. <laughs> That's it's awesome. Star Wars in the Wild West, basically. It, it really, like, I get it. I do, but I really enjoy the Netflix. Like, here it all is. Watch it to your heart's content. It kind of bums me out that it's. I have to wait really. Every Friday. Yeah. I, I, I like having to wait again. I, 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 I you know, it's funny. I love the roller coaster of the hype because, yeah. like, that's what I missed about like when Lost came out. And and stuff like that, and just like the water cooler thing that it would it would create. Because what's what happens when it comes out weekly? To me, it feels like less people fall behind. Because I've got friends that would like, right. oh my gosh, me and my wife binge the whole first season of um of Stranger Things. Do you? Yep. What about that part when blah blah blah? And you're like, I got three kids. Like we get to watch them like one and a half at a time. Right. And so exactly. like some people get way out in front, and then you can't talk about it, and then you forget to talk about it by the time the friend that's slow. It's yeah. like catching up with you. So I see what you're saying as far as like just content wise, like give me all of it because it's so good. But at the same time, it creates this nice little wave that happens during the week where it's like, oh, the next one's released. And you see like everybody talk about yeah. it. And I would think for Disney, I would think that'd be the best thing ever is like once a week or once every two weeks, however often it is, you get this huge surge of people talking about. Yeah. And it's yeah. it's not consistent either. It's like it's kind of random because like. Uh, four came out last Tuesday and I'm like, all right, this Tuesday, let's see what happens. And nope, nothing. And so I, I'm kind of like that. Like I'm in. Oh, really? I, it came out on Friday. I thought they all came out only on Fridays. I did too. Oh, I don't, I don't know about that. I have no idea. I've not seen any of them. I just know that, I mean, the newest one came out this past Friday. So I assumed it. Yeah, no, it did. I that every Friday it's, reason, it releases every Friday. Oh, weird. I, I don't know why I'm thinking Tuesday. But um, hey, if maybe that's when you watched it or realized that the new episode was up. Yeah, because I know like I've been following on Instagram, like when they post when the next one was for some reason, I guess it, it must have been Tuesday or something like that. And that's probably when I saw it. Huh. Yeah. Either way, either way, I do. I do love the the hype of it and the anticipation of it, because then you can go back. And I got one of my buddies into it, too. And uh, like he got hooked and watched all four episodes right then and there. And it was perfect. So. Yeah. Yeah. It's been nice. Um. And yes, yeah, like we mentioned earlier, playing a ton of Overwatch this week. I'm falling in love with Batiste. I'm loving playing him nice, still. Nice, dude. It's been so much fun. Uh, I, I'm really enjoying playing 222, although what that has done to Overwatch is it has made classic quick play 
into a wild west of nothing but DPS characters because mm. people have to wait in a long queue if they want to play DPS in 222. And I understand they're saying, I would, well, if I play Quick Play Classic, I can get in right away. And yeah. so I don't know how many games I played yesterday and 80% of the games, there was one healer between both teams. Uh, it was just <laughs> insane. Went. So it was, uh, it's still fun. You just kind of have to, uh, I, I love playing with the community. That's, that's really what it's all about, man. And, yep. and if, if I was in it just for competitive, I think I would have rage quit the game by now. Oh but yeah. Playing with the, uh, with the, with the, with the people, it's, it's been a lot of fun. So yeah, it was, a, it was a good week. It was a fun week and, uh, yeah, it was a good time. There Thank you me. go. I like it. Mr. Patillo. Yeah. Hit us up, man. Is it my turn already? It is your turn. Is. What you got? Shoot. Um, ah, Thanksgiving was great. Uh, I mean, you know, nothing too crazy about that to report. Um, <laughs> except for the fact, and oh. this is just sucks, but like, I don't know if you guys remember last Thanksgiving. I don't even know if I said it on the show, but we had a little excitement and Jenny's dad ended up having to go to the hospital and mm -hmm. uh, like we had to call the ambulance and they came and all this business. And then this Thanksgiving, her uncle, her dad's brother had to go to the hospital. No. And wow. I was like, Tommy, I said, like, y'all will not let us have a nice Thanksgiving. You and your Seriously. brother got to be at the ER every Thanksgiving. I was like, we can't have this no more. And so he was laughing with me and it ended up not being anything. So that was really great. Okay, good. Um, so he's okay and everything like that. But, you know, his wife was like, because this is the problem. Some men, and I won't mention me and Chris's names, do not like going to the doctor. Mm -hmm. We will we will do whatever we can to not go. And yep. uh, and he's like that too. And so sometimes we need our wives to be like, oh no, you going to the doctor. Mm -hmm. And so yeah. uh, that's what his wife did. And so uh. he, he came back like, I could have been sitting here having turkey with y'all. <laughs> like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> right. Um. Uh, so, you know, a little bit of excitement, but nothing crazy. Uh, so that was fun. Um, gosh, I mean, again, not much. It's just it's just back into school and all that. I did take mm -hmm. a trip uh, quickly out to because, you know, we haven't been touring and all this business. So I've, I've been home, um, but I did go to Bend, Oregon real quick. Oh, oh wow. Nice. Oh, wow. Um, because they have the last remaining blockbuster. Okay. Um, in the country. Oh, that's that's amazing. And so um I picked up these two movies and I was wondering if you guys would help me decide mm. oh, please, which please, one please. Uh, I would love to. I should watch. Well yeah, maybe maybe read the back of them and kind of give us a rundown. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I have this. Oh yeah, here's a synopsis right here. Okay. <laughs> We're such good actors. <laughs> oh, are we? I mean, hey Gabe, why don't you tell us about it? <laughs> uh, all right. <clears throat> Recently, single Jessica, who mm -hmm. sends Christmas cards to five people who have influenced her life. Recently, wait, hold on a second. Recently, so it's one yeah. Jessica? There's one, yeah, but she's so single. Recently single, oh, oh, oh sorry. Oh, oh. There's, there, <laughs> the back of these, the back of, listen, the back of these blockbuster things don't always have the commas in the right place. So that, right. that crease looked like a comma. I got yeah, you. Yeah, okay. it is. Yeah. Recently single Jessica. <laughs> Recently single Jessica. Yeah, sorry. Recently single Jessica. Dog on it. The glare. Hold on. Let me take this out of the. Oh, take it out of the sleeve. Yeah, man. Yeah. Hold on. Take this out no. of the sleeve. Man, be Gosh. careful. Be kind. No, man. God, I'll rewind it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right. Okay, now I see. Violent. Now I see it. Okay, sorry. Tell us more, Gabe. Recently single Jessica sends Christmas cards to five people who have influenced her life. That's nice. Mm. Only five. Okay. Yeah. Good yeah. Good the her. aunt who raised her, her younger brother in the military, mm -hmm. a pop star Jax who provided the soundtrack to her life. What? Okay. The music teacher who inspired her <laughs> and her best friend. Oh, that's nice. Who always tells her the truth. As each person receives Jessica's card, they are sparked to act in their own lives to make them better. Mm. Mm. 2019's. What? Murder by mail? Right. 
before Christmas. <laughs> w R I T E, right? Yes. Uh, of course it is. Oh man. Nice. Uh, okay, right. what's the other oh, one? I'm getting I'm getting toasty by the fire, Gabe. Keep this going, man. This is good. Thanks. Hold on. Let me get some of <laughs> To, just in case, because this... oh, he's also opening the whoppers that he got at the blockbuster. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> clearly. Well, they still have like the treats up by the register. I just can't. Oh yeah, you know, say yeah. No to the treats. You went wrong when you got whoppers. <laughs> I know these things are old. You can't tell the difference stale. with whoppers. It's all right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <clears throat> Caesar Dinovio. <laughs> okay. Don't sure. And his half brother Otto. Dinovio. Take on duties as Santa and his elf. Okay. However, uh -oh. the bodies begin to pile up. <laughs> oh, yes, they do. <laughs> when a fellow store Santa develops a vendetta against them. What? Nice. And he nice. soon turns Caesar's list of dinner guests into a list of Christmas inspired victims. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, that one. Goodness gracious. Yeah. 2012's Caesar and Otto's Deadly Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> Caesar. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <sighs> yeah, man. Anybody got a vote? Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. <laughs> Caesar and Otto. Caesar and Otto, it is, man. I, watch that yeah. one, man. Think so, yeah. Caesar and Otto? Let's okay. go with that one. Okay. I love that one. Yeah. That absolutely. one um, did have uh, the better rating for what we're going for. Well, good. Right before Christmas had a 7.2 out of 10. Caesar right. and Otto got a 4.1. Oh, yeah. So I think we're headed in the right direction. I yeah, think so. Yeah, they're, they're, Especially they're when it's together. directed, written, the screenplay. And stars the same guy. Is it Tommy Wiseau? Uh, Please be Tommy Wiseau. His name is Dave <laughs> Campfield. Oh, okay, even better. You know what's awesome is that Tommy's cousin. every every year or every time our centennial episode hits, it, it's slightly at a different spot in the calendar. I can't yes. wait for it to be in December when we can watch one of these. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. my gosh. Right? That would be amazing. It's going to take a long time. It only, <laughs> it's all right. it only scoots back two weeks every time. 100 episodes. That'll give no, people plenty weeks. of time to make more horrible Christmas movies to choose from. <laughs> that's true. I think it moves back a month every 100 oh, episodes, amazing. I think. Yeah, I think that's right. That's amazing, awesome. Amazing, amazing, amazing. All right. All right. So Caesar and Otto's it is. Yeah. <laughs> Big I'll, winner. Big I'll winner. let you guys know how it goes. Academy Award winning. Uh, I'm trying to get so these good. back down in the case. Huh? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Oh. Those names are so odd that I really thought the title was going to be some sort of horribly forced pun. I was kind of, I was kind of let down. Well, that was the first one. Yeah. 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 That's true. yeah. I, I know not to choose too horribly, horribly. That's pun. right. <laughs> you, you always ease us in beautifully, Gabe. So thank you. Yes. Mm. You're welcome. Yeah. That is awesome. Thank you guys for helping me choose. <laughs> yeah, definitely. You're welcome. No, anytime. At least we could do. Yeah. yeah. Um, mm. on the gaming front. <laughs> yes <laughs> now that we got that out of the way <laughs> i gotta mail these things back to freaking bend Ugh. in my head i was like when did that joker go to bend i had no idea <laughs> yeah i i i was like doggone it so that <laughs> means we bend. are good actors i know right thank you edward like man this guy got all sorts of secret vo jobs i don't know about <laughs> right. yeah i did a snowboarding <laughs> one because they're looking for black guys to sell snowboards. Is up there a right. Ben Studio? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Maybe yeah. your day's gone too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, y'all come get on these slopes, man. I don't know. What's the weather up there? <laughs> With Ben's crazy snowboards. <laughs> Ben's crazy snowboards. Uh, come on down. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, yeah, uh, not playing. I mean, I, I like I have to stop playing Apex. I have to stop playing it. It's, it's right. becoming a problem. Do you? Do you? <laughs> I mean, it's just keeping me for the rest of my life, man. <laughs> it is keeping me from my gaming life. Chris, yeah. do you not agree a little? Uh, the the funny thing about your statement, yeah, is that I don't wouldn't think it'd be that hard because every time we play, you're like, I hate this game. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. At least one it ha that happens at least once. Uh, yeah, oh, go ahead. And then the rest of the game. time, it's it's all good. That's really funny. 
<laughs> man, I hate this game. Yeah, right, I hate but this no, I, I actually game. haven't jumped into Apex in a good while, other than the other night when you the few times that I have played a multiplayer one, I've been on Call of Duty. So I've had a bit of a little break from Apex to some extent. Nice, nice. But yeah, um, it's still a lot of fun. When we played the other night, I was like, oh yeah, this is why I like this game. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's the thing, man. It's a problem in my life. Um, so yeah, I mean, I just been playing Apex, honestly. I don't know if I, I think I've played a little Call of Duty, which mm -hmm. does, I mean, that's, uh, it's just, that's a master's class in controls for me. It just mm -hmm. feels yeah. good. And I can't tell if one helps me play the other one better. Um, yeah, I don't but know. I definitely accidentally strike that R1 to try to throw a grenade in Apex, and that's not happening. Mm -hmm. Nope. <laughs> it's like, let's go over there. Um, <laughs> And uh, so, yeah, I think that's all I've been doing. I have been doing a lot of auditioning uh, and all that stuff. And, and so that's fine. Uh, got a little commercial coming out soon, but I think it's just for the Internet. So I'll let you guys know when that pops up. Nice. Nice. Um, I think that I, that's that's it, man. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that's all. Yeah, that's all I got. Man. All right. That's it. But uh, Tim. Yep. Do you got it? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, sorry, that's that belly heartbeat is strong. It's a regurgitated tur turkey coming up a little. Sorry about that. <laughs> <Goodness gracious. laughs> Excuse me. Well, let's go. All right, new releases this week. Arise, a simple story for the PC, PS4, Xbox One. Blair Witch for the PS4 nope. is out. Nope, nope. Fight oh. and Rage for the PS4. Hmm. Halo Reach remastered for the PC and Xbox One. Nice. Life is Strange 2, Episode 5, Wolves for the PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Never Winter Nights Enhanced Edition. Yeah. Always in some sort of an edition. Uh, PS4, Xbox One, and Switch. Uh, simul, simulacra for the PS4 and Xbox One and Switch. Sibilance. Sibilance. Sibilance, yes, yes. Tools up for the PC, PS4, Xbox One, and Switch. Alien Isolation is out for the Switch. Oh, oh wow. gosh, Nintendo. That's that's kind right? of exciting. That is surprise. These jokers, man. Hey, listen, man. Can't call it sometimes, you guys. And Ed, you really enjoyed that, didn't you? I loved that game. I loved watching you play that game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Freak out. Yeah, it was great. Yes, he did. Uh, TikTok, a tale for two for the Switch. TikTok, TikTok. And yeah, TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. In Ancestors, the Humankind Edition. Odyssey. Ooh. I'm sorry. Let's try that again. Ancestors, the Humankind Odyssey for the PS4 and Xbox One. And Assassin's mm. Creed, the Rebel Collection for the Switch. Man, the Switch is coming out with all the stops now. So I know. There you they have it. They sound like Google Stadia. That's right. <laughs> Min minus the beep bop boop, bop beep bop so, you know that game you've had for a long time on that other console yeah come get over here <laughs> that's right 11 years ago Ooh. december 4th 2008 for the playstation numero dos yeah. dragon ball z infinite world came out nice hmm. seven years ago december 4th 2012 for the pc PlayStation 3, and Xbox 360, Far Cry 3. Ooh. Yeah, baby. Excellent game, excellent game. Yes. And also for the PlayStation 3, Mass Effect and the Mass Effect Trilogy. Oh, that's right, because... Uh, came out, because that was finally Well, I don't know opened. if that's the first time I made its way to PlayStation, but they were late to PlayStation. Yeah, they were yeah, late. Microsoft but they, only yeah. for the first one. And they threw the whole trilogy in there, so that was great. And then mm. also for the Xbox 360, and I don't remember this uh being ex i don't was it exclusive for a week but elder scrolls skyrim was out for the xbox 360 on december 4th 2012 as well oh weird. i don't know why i don't know why it does say playstation either on hmm. it but maybe it was a staggered release yeah. i don't i don't Who knows? remember that happening but um i don't hmm. know we'll see there you have it that is all for me folks back to you i like it chris mccracken yes let's go because we can get to these top tens all right, let's do this. <laughs> yeah. right? I, I can't Just, wait to hear you guys. I, I, I'm, I'm so excited. Sneak peek. Sneak, right. I, they don't even know what we talk about. Sneak peek. All right, all right, here we go. So this one will be nice and quick. There were a lot of people out there that were still holding out hope because Sony's crazy. 
yep. that they were going to introduce or launch yet another gaming handheld. Because, mm. you know, they did really well with the PSP. They launched the PlayStation Vita. Of course, it didn't sell well at all. But the people who had it really, really loved it and were big, huge champions for it. And so yep. everybody was like, somewhere down the road, Sony's going to do this again. Well, sadly, we got some information this week for those that were holding out hope from PlayStation's boss, Jim Ryan, and he confirmed that Sony is not interested in making another portable console for the PlayStation. He had this to say, he said, the PlayStation Vita was brilliant in many ways and actually, a, uh, and the actual gaming experience was great, but clearly it's a business that we're no longer in now. Mm. So I, I don't think it's like a never, like you shouldn't say never. I mean, again, Sony crazy. So they may just do it somewhere down the road, but I think it's pretty obvious, at least right now, that they're, all their efforts are focused on PlayStation 5. And I just, I, I believe the man when he says, like, look, that's not the business we're in right now. We're not yeah. going to mess with that. I kind of, I'm, I'm feeling him on that. And I'm one of those people that still has a Vita. I still play mine. Not all the time, but I'm, I'm not like a huge portable, like on the go gamer anyways. But I, I still play Runner with it. I have Metal Gear on there. I have Guacamelee, which is awesome. I have a lot of different games. And I've used it for remote play several times. Uh, when I'm out and about, so and Chris, I still like mine. Correct me, is the Vita the one? Is it missing the shoulder buttons? It has what would be equivalent to like an R1 and R2 no, or L2, L2, L1, L1 and R1. Okay, it doesn't have the trigger buttons. You can that always use bothered the back me. Touch to simulate that for some games. Why do you think they did that? I don't think remote play was the first thought when they did it. I no, but that, the Dual Shock was out. Right. Yeah, but. At that point, like I didn't own a PSP, but the PSP didn't even have analog sticks. So this was a upgrade to that extent. And I think the majority of the their thought was probably that people are going to make games specifically for this. Yeah, we'll make this thing and we'll have remote play and have a way to do these other things. But I don't I just don't think that they envisioned it that being its main function yeah. and that people would make games specifically for it and just utilize the buttons that existed on it. That's yeah. what I think. Are you uh, I am not bummed by this news at all. I, I feel like I want them to continue to focus on the PS5 and remote play mm -hmm. as much as they can. I feel like if they were trying to launch a PlayStation 5 and a handheld, mm -hmm. that would be a bit tough. Yeah. I'm a bit bummed from this information if there's if it indeed is that there's never going to be anything. Because I do think if they came out with something that did have all the exact same buttons as a DualShock 4... Mm -hmm. Or, or you know, DualShock. Since they've been from the PlayStation One, all those same buttons essentially. Yeah, I, I feel like that could be a really awesome device. And then as you go down the road, like all the games from the PS3 and PS, well, maybe not PS3, but PS4 generation, eventually are going to be they're going to be so much more powerful on you know as devices get more powerful going forward, you're going to be able to play those games on a handheld. And you know what I wish I would, would happen love to play that kinds of stuff. And this won't happen, but uh -huh. I wish it would. Mm -hmm. I wish Nintendo would allow themselves to be a gateway drug into Nintendo mm. by allowing Xbox streaming and PS4 remote play as apps on the Nintendo Switch. Mm. That, yeah. to me, number one, would sell Nintendo Switches. And mm -hmm. then hopefully, you know, when somebody's got a Switch sitting there and then they're curious about a Nintendo game, then they go get the Nintendo game because they already have the Switch. Now, if mm -hmm. you don't have a Switch and you're curious, like Ed was kind of about Luigi's Mansion 3, yeah. he's mm -hmm. not going to buy a Switch just to play Luigi's Mansion. Right. But if for some reason he had one already because they allowed remote play on these other things just because it's, you know, streaming, gosh, I wish they would do that. I know that maybe it doesn't make any sense business-wise, mm -hmm. but it seems like get the console in as many hands as you can and then let the magic of Nintendo... And it's the curiosity if you're not already a Nintendo fan, yeah. take you over the top into their games. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, I mean that that could definitely work. And I do feel like if down the road PlayStation does end up making another handheld, that it's going to be much more akin to what we feel like the Switch is today, but yes. PlayStationized. Um, yeah. You would hope, but right? I'm not. I'm. I'm not. I mean, I'm not like super bummed out by this, but it does make me think, like, oh man, if it, they never come out with anything else, that's gonna be a little bit of a bummer. But yeah, I mean, I'm and that's not what he said. Yeah. Um, I thought this was interesting. We're gonna stick with PlayStation for a second. Mm -hmm. Um, PlayStation, the brand, has been certified as the best-selling video game home console brand ever. By Guinness wow. World Records. That's weird. Really? I, mean, I just was not expecting that. That came out of the blue to me. That yeah. didn't come out of the blue, but I wonder if they were holding it back. 
because we all know that PlayStation turned 25 this last week. And so it kind of like goes together. So PlayStation total hardware sales is 450,190,000 units. That is is a bunch. Here's what's weird. Uh Uh-oh. The record includes hardware sales of PlayStation, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, in between mm-hmm. December 3rd of 1994 when it came out in Japan and November 7th of 2019. Based on figures from VG charts. Yeah. Ooh. Wait, what? That's jacked. Right? Don't, don't believe them. Yeah, we know VG charts are jacked. So I thought Wait, VG Genesis charts. Wait, Genesis basing it off of that? What, couldn't they just be like, sorry, this is crazy. And someone will be like, uh. <laughs> We got the actual data, and they off by about 20 million units. Right. So Whatever the heck. I, yeah, why wouldn't they use MCD? I thought VG charts was always, like, sketch. We used them for a while. I think, you know, a bunch of the community, I know Chris was one of them, kind of came to us like, oh, I don't even remember. It might have been Hall, too. Like, I don't know about VG charts being, like, the guys to use. You know, and that's why we switched to MPD. Um, yeah. So I don't know, if just reading this on IGN, I don't know if they're saying they're basing their number off VG charts, but the way it reads, it sounds, but you would think that Guinness did a little bit more digging than VG charts. Yeah. I would hope so. You would think they'd be a little more thorough. Yeah. I don't know if that's easier to follow for VG charts, you know, hardware sales. That's not as, you know, that's not as in up in the air as maybe, you know, mixing brick and mortar and, online sales of games yeah, you know they had true. to kind of guess yeah, that maybe. a little bit but like you know when you sell a playstation we we get those numbers mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying as consumers so maybe yeah. that one's closer than it would be for a video game that's true that's true um, yeah that's a good i thought. also loved um when uh one of the guys was talking he was saying that back when they were developing the original playstation they had ambitions to sell one million units one yeah. million. I, I, I thought that was funny yeah. One million One units. One million units. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I just thought, I was like, man, if they only knew. Yeah, you right. Know, and how, because I think the PS1 sold 102 million or something crazy. That's um, nuts. And so, you know, the fact that they were like, oh, please let us sell 1 million units of this new thing called the, oh, oh take Nintendo's name off that. It's just the Sony PlayStation. Right, now. right. Exactly. You know. Because it would anyway, I remember when it first came out, I was like, PlayStation? Ugh, what a terrible <laughs> name. That's, it's hard that to come up with. Really? A, a, you didn't like it? I loved it right off the it bat. It felt very Japanese to me. And oh, yeah? on And on the nose. More Japanese than Nintendo? <laughs> no, but Nintendo is not a, a word to me. The PlayStation, like the station where you play, felt like just a little on the nose. I don't know what Nintendo means. I don't, but that sounds like, well, you know, I found out or when they said Nintendo's a Japanese company, I was like, oh, that feels like that checks out. <laughs> yes, of course it does. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what else you got, Christopher? All right. So, you know, you guys know that we don't really get like crazy political here. We, we leave all that for you. You want political talk, you get to another podcast. But That's every right. now and then the world of politics gets a little crazy. Like when they all talking about like video game violence and yada, yada. Well, here's. Another weird situation. <laughs> <laughs> I a, love the way you framed it like that, because that makes this so perfect. Yeah. A, a, a United States congressman pleaded guilty in federal court on Tuesday to stealing hundreds of thousands of dollars in campaign funds. And amongst How do you the many even things, do that? Uh, well, this guy was not very good at it, number one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because he wrote, he took notes about everything like that and had receipts and like, oh, I'll pay this back and then just didn't pay it back. But amongst all the things that he spent it on, which is stuff as crazy as like Legos and Play-Doh to groceries to luxury hotels, all kinds of different stuff. He also spent around $1,300 worth on Steam games. (laughs) Nice. (laughs) And that was in 2016. Yeah. What he's being died for now, they said there's even more that he had spent money on other games. We just don't have what that final figure is. So back in 2016, $1,300 <laughs> on Steam games. And you got to understand, Steam games get cheap. Yeah. Exactly. So they ain't no telling how many games he got for $1,300. That's hilarious. I mean, yeah. So he's he's going to be 
in some trouble, and he's going to be owing a lot of money, and uh, he's not going to be playing any Steam games for a while. No. <laughs> I mean, he's. they said that the maximum penalty is five years in prison and a yep. $250,000 fine. Mm-hmm. So hopefully he stole more than two hundred and fifty thousand right? dollars. <laughs> yes, and I was, I, you know, I'd heard about this story, and you know, over the last couple of weeks, but today was the first time I heard about the video games in there as well. <laughs> I just couldn't believe it. Yeah. I just thought it was really funny that, like, because you know, when you steal thing, I, when I think of stealing, I think of taking something and putting it somewhere. But yeah. when you steal money, you spend it. And so, mm-hmm. like, if I stole money and they're like, hey, you owe us $250,000, I'd be like, hey, Doc, I ain't got it. <laughs> like <laughs> uh, like nope. Cedric the Entertainer said, it's like, I put something on it. But <laughs> right. I, ain't got, I ain't got all That's of it. That's hilarious. I ate about a fourth of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. You hear me have them whoppers earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I thought this was really cool for the Nintendo Switch. I, I think it's cool for the world. I think it's cool for China. Um, we've talked about on on this podcast in the past China's weird relationship with video games and how they like literally had them banned for forever. Yeah. And uh, finally, the Chinese market is getting the Nintendo Switch. Yeah. Which is just crazy that it's just now getting there. And I can't imagine. And it launches on the 10th of December. Mm-hmm. Uh, of this year i can't imagine living in a country where everybody else is playing this thing for a couple years i'd be like feverish about it like i'd be yeah. running to the store on december 10th to go get this thing i like could you imagine if like japan got the playstation 5 a year and a half before us yeah yeah, we'd, we'd be like, hey, hey, Doc, can you use that place? <laughs> right, that PlayStation Five over here. Hey, man, you got that? <laughs> yeah, exactly. We'd be all looking like uh, Tyrone Biggins from uh, <laughs> Chappelle Show. Yeah, hey, Doc, <laughs> I'm gonna get that PlayStation Five about it. I just thought uh, it was when, when it said that New Super Mario Brothers U Deluxe has yeah. been approved for release. It just makes yeah. me think, man, they have to like approve n- these Mario games. Yes. It's can just, you imagine? Ah, oh, I can't. I can't um, imagine it. It's so foreign to me. I mean, obviously, but yes, yeah. it's definitely foreign to us. Um, but I'm excited for them, and I'm excited for Nintendo. Um, I don't know about PlayStation and all them, but um, you know, there's a billion people there, and so you're opening up to this market that's just, you know, I think primed and ready and. I mean, you might get sell gangbusters, man. So I think yeah. good for yeah. Nintendo yeah, and good for gaming. We know that they released the ban on gaming. Was it last year? We talked about it on this show. I just can't remember exactly when it was. I think it was. Was it longer more ago than, than that? Just a, I feel like it was longer, but I don't know for sure. It just feels like it was longer than that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so they said, <laughs> and this is interesting too. They said like, there's more, there's more titles coming, mm-hmm. but the only games approved like ed said is nintendo uh super mario brothers u deluxe mario kart 8 and super mario odyssey so hopefully you like mario yeah 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 right um in the press conference they did uh there's a lot more games that they have listed but i guess it's just got to go that slow way of of getting them okayed and and right they can make it happen so yeesh it's crazy. crazy yeah um chris you're out yeah yes Edward? Yes, sir? Tell me something good. Well, we have some free games for you guys. It's the first of the month. Uh, Like Chris mentioned over on the PS Plus, Titanfall 2. And Mm -hmm. the game I'm surprised he's not excited about, Monster Energy Supercross, the official video game. Man. Oh, there you go. I was like, okay, that's weird. Yeah. It's like PS Plus was jealous of how bad Xbox games with gold was and was like, we can beat that. (laughs) <laughs> they're like put your hand in this hat this has got great games put your hand in this hat we just need these to get onto people's consoles that's right like, okay <laughs> over gotcha. on the xbox uh insane robots is free this month so oh, oh, there you robots go. so insane, yeah man. hold my beer playstation <laughs> <laughs> uh, also from december 16th to january 15th jurassic world evolution mm. uh, december 5th uh, 1st to the 15th toy story 3 
Uh, and December 16th to the 31st, Castlevania Lords of Shadow Mirror of Fate, also wow. available on Game Pass now, as Tim mentioned, Halo Reach. Nice. There you go. There you go. I like it. Yeah. Thanks, Eduardo. You are welcome. Well, every week we ask you guys a question. Last week was no different. We said it's the holiday season. We already told you guys what we're thankful for. Now it's your turn. Your turn. What are you thankful for? Starting over on Twitter. Uh, we got Jim Page at Zach Kemia. I'm thankful for finishing a bachelor's degree in management of information systems. Mm. Going back to school full time Ooh. while working full time was rough, Oof. but I'm happy I did it. Congrats. I know that's right. Ooh. I love that. I love that. This one was sweet. Joey McPherson at Joe Boston 617. My wife at Loki Lover 101. <laughs> I like that his wife's screen name is loving somebody else. That's hilarious. Loki. For having my back when I needed to leave my last job because of mental health issues mm -hmm. where I didn't have a backup plan. Luckily, mm -hmm. yeah. I'm working now somewhere where I don't have the issue I was having before. That's awesome. Loki lover, yeah. good yeah. job supporting your husband. I love yes, that. That's really cool. Get it, Joey. That's awesome, man. Congratulations on, on, on moving on to something better, mm -hmm. bigger and better. Um, Splig at Dopalicious, I'm thankful for gaming escapes, tabletop and on TV, during these hard trials my family is currently going through. Mm. Mm. Like, hey, man, life is something out here. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. If you've listened to this show the last three months, Dude. we right there with you. Yep. Uh, James Stribling. Game wise, I'm thankful for quick saves. Ooh, hey. there you go. There you go. <laughs> Tim Paulin said bacon. Ah, nice one. <laughs> of course. I'm right there with you. Nice. Robert Darrell, good. Oh, yeah. you better yeah. not say something. You don't have a problem. I'm going to tell you. Get all the way down. I'm going to explain about it. I'm going to just say, kick in a biscuit. That's right. Boom, Howard. My kids were unexpectedly with me for the entire month of November, had to change all my plans, but it was perfect. Aww. I'm thankful for changes to my plans. Oh, that's awesome. There we go. Ain't that sweet. There you go. Last one on Facebook, Sherry Crow. This may be too late for the recording of the podcast, but I'm thankful because I finally, I'm finally going to get to meet Router. We, uh, we, <laughs> we booked our Airbnb for episode 400. What? Yay! Then I will have hugged all the MTTG cast members. Yes! Oh, that's I think awesome. that is a platinum trophy. Oh, yes! That's I'm awesome. I'm so excited. Oh, man. Dog, oh, you're going to get your hug. That's for sure. <laughs> man. Uh, I cannot, Come get this hug, girl. I can't wait until she gets on Overwatch. That's going to be so much fun. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Give it time. Give it time. Give it time. Yeah, it'll get there. Yeah. Uh, over on Discord, we got Greek gamer Nick Huntress. Yes. I am truly thankful for the MTTG Discord and wider community. It has been a really long and challenging year for me and my family. I cannot tell you how many times I've had a bad day and then listened to the week's episode or jumped on Discord to have a smile put on my face, a laugh out loud moment, or some incredible encouragement as we do life and games together. Mm, Thank you, nice. everyone, for consistently showing humanity and kindness. That is awesome. Oh! Wow. Come on now. Love that. Tell you what, man. I told somebody earlier, I think it was Chris's sister. I was like, the MTTG family is greater than any other online community I've ever been a part of. That's for sure. Ever in my life. It's not even close. <laughs> AOL, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> AOL, all right. That's where we're headed. Okay, cool. Uh, Jared Orr, I'm thankful for video game developers. They're incredibly passionate, creative, and talented people who work crazy hard, sacrifice time with their families, and put up with internet hate. Developers do all this to provide us with incredible experiences, big and small. My world wouldn't be the same without them. That's a great answer, Jared. Yep. Isn't that great? Yep. Um, let's see. Uh, last one. We'll do uh, It's a Neebs. Aw. 
It's a nibs. I'm thankful for the big things that seem like little things to us until they're gone. Like the incredible convenience of having small computers built into our cell phones or beds or a paycheck to put food on the table. Mm. Yeah. I know that's right. Yep. Shoot. We're all, we all grateful for that. Yeah. Gracious. Um, you know where to find us. Facebook.com slash Married to the Games. Come join the MTTG community group. It's on and popping in there. That's where Miss Sherry Crow put her post. That was mm-hmm. so amazing. Nice. Uh, Twitter.com slash MTTG cast. Of course, married to the games.com. You can come buy your tickets now to the Married to the Games episode 400 celebration at married to the games.com slash MTTG 400. Come get those tickets, man. We're going to have such a good time. And you get to meet Mrs. Bread fan. I mean, come on. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Do we need to say anything else? YouTube.com slash married to the games. On uh, Patreon, if you'd like to throw a dollar in the tip jar, man. Patreon.com slash MTTG. And uh, y'all heard it from Chris and Tim. They're going to be mm-hmm. on it this week. Extra dash life dot org slash team slash MTTG. And we need to tip our hats. Oh, to to Ed and to Chris and Tim especially, because guess what, y'all? Mm, we that? had a goal of ten thousand, mm-hmm. and we have Ugh. surpassed that goal, Are baby. You kidding me? That's and so we awesome. still got community members to go. That's awesome! So wow. I tip my hat to those guys that you are guys still pushing it. through, even see? though we're even though we uh. got our goal, we're pushing past it. We're gonna see how far we can get, how much money we can raise for these kids. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's going to be awesome, man. So, Chris and Tim, thank you for pushing through, even yeah. though we have met our no, no, goal. Thank already. you, guys. You guys paved the way. It's yep. awesome. It's awesome. Um, And uh, Chris. Dang it. Uh, <laughs> got it. Yes. yes. Why, why you got to do this to me, man? Because <laughs> I love you. Uh, Ray us on iTunes and come donate to the streams this weekend. Yeah, oh, there, there you go. go. There you go. Well, let's get into some questions. All righty. We got Discord. We got Mr. Hef. Would Chris consider eating chicken wings and or barbecue ribs with his bare hands on his Extra Life live stream if he were to reach a specific dollar amount goal in donations? Grin, 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 grin. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Hit $5,000. <laughs> you don't eat with your bare hands, Chris? I no, didn't remember I do, that about you. I, I'm not going to and then use a controller and all that stuff. <laughs> that I know that's right. No, I, I don't eat I'm when I game, you. typically. I'm with you. That would be yeah, uh, very uncomfortable. Yes. I like that. Uh, Mary Maker, Beef Master, <laughs> what is your most memorable video game moment from Christmas morning, or in Router's case, Hanukkah, mm. since his ha- childhood predates Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> Shalom like... to you too, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dreidel, 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 yeah, I made you out uh, of clay. Oh, that's hilarious. Uh, most memorable video game moment from Christmas morning. Ooh, gaming moment. I think my dad got me a Sega Genesis for Christmas when I was really young. Yeah. I think so. I don't remember though. But that's the that's the biggest gaming moment on Christmas that cuz my mom used to a single parent, she used to pull off a miracle every Christmas. Yep. God mm-hmm. bless her. Yep. Um and so, but I remember when I was really young getting a Genesis and I think it was for Christmas. Mm. Chris, you got one? We got uh, our SNES at Christmas, and then um, following that, we also got our N- N64 at Christmas. So, oh, when it was the SNES, it was spending the entire day and then days after playing Street Fighter 2 the most. Yes. And then uh, when it was the N64, playing um, Mario 64. There you go. Nice. nice. Ed? Uh, we got an SNES, and I just remember, you know, playing track and field and duck hunt. And it's a good. Good morning. Yes, 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 yes. Tim? Uh, Mine's a little more recent when my wife got me the PlayStation 4 Pro. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. I think your most memorable one should be getting the PS3. 
I mean, it is, but at, it wasn't at Christmas. Oh, it was I thought it actually, was. <laughs> no, it was. It was his <laughs> birthday, wasn't it? Ready? No, it was our anniversary, October oh, 11th. Oh, that's right. Mm. I'll that's never right. forget oh. it. Like we were at Costco, and they had a they had a bundle, and she's like, "Go ahead." And I'm like, thank you. Nice. <laughs> it, it was amazing. Nice. Yeah, I'll that. never forget that day. It was awesome. Uh, great question. Tara Jacked. When I opened my computer on December 1st, I was shocked and confused to see an empty MTTG server with no channels. I went into a panic. Why? Oh, why? Then I realized I hadn't updated my card for Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> I abruptly nice. fixed the problem and all was well. That's hilarious. Have, have you ever forgotten to update your payment information for something important, then panicked when you didn't realize why something wasn't working anymore? Oh, for Absolutely. sure. Oh, yeah. Yes. So yes. Yeah. Every time my I card expires, you, something gets forgotten. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> I was about to say, that's for sure. Mm. Yep. And I've done it the other way. Where I left one on, I think, the, what was the game called? EverQuest? I think I paid for EverQuest for two years. Nice. Oh, wow. But Jeez. never played it. So that was a shame. Nice. Uh, yeah, I don't have a specific instance, but there's been, and actually, I stopped doing it to where I just think I have things auto pulling from a card because of that very reason. Because I was like, I don't want to just when I think to cancel or if the card dies and I, and I forget that it's expired or whatever, cause I'm not using it all the time. Yeah. So I do most of my stuff. I have reminders and everything. And I just pay everything manually, but there's been a few times where I'll forget that one bill. I'm like, dang it. And I'll yep. go over there yeah. and, and I'll, I'll do it. And a lot, most of the time, luckily I remember right when I still have like the delivery time of when it act, that electronic payment goes through, it'll be on the day it's due. Yep. But yep. there's been like two times where it's like the day after I'm like, dang it. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm actually right there with you, Chris, because I don't I don't do auto uh, withdrawals j just because being self-employed, I never know when I'm actually getting money in my account. I so I don't right. want to. So, uh, yeah, I do the exact same thing. And thank God, just if, if you set up paperless and, and have email notifications, they'll they'll find you and they'll let you know. So like when you get those emails, it's like you freak out for a quick second. And then you're like, all right, we're we're OK. We're yeah. Okay. There you go. I like it. Uh, Nick Huntress, Greek gamer. Now that it is officially Christmas season, what is on the top of your Christmas wish list? Oculus Quest. Uh, that would be ditto for me. <laughs> is it? Yep. That's wow. awesome. <laughs> to, uh, yep. Chris? Thanks, Lem. <laughs> yeah, seriously. You ruined our lives. That's right. Um, ah, I don't... <laughs> I'm not big on getting gifts, so I just there's not something in particular that I'm like, oh, I really hope I get this. Honestly, if I just get to spend time with Stacy and you know friends and family, I'm good. Does Stacy get mad at you? Like, what do you want? No, she always finds something to get me that just amazes me. So I'm like, oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Oh, that's why you're not big on it. Why you get sweaters for half anyways? your life? Yeah, I got, yeah. I've gotten such bad gifts through life. I'm like, yeah, let's yeah, I'll pick I'll pick it this time. <laughs> right. I want no. I don't want any more Cosby sweaters. I'm texting you a link to what I want. Here you go. Yeah, exactly. Here's my wish list on Amazon. That's exactly. right. Exactly. Yeah, I don't have anything on my wish list. I need a new laptop, but I don't expect it for Christmas or anything. I just I know, need right. one. So yeah, yeah. yeah nice. <laughs> there you go. That's awesome. Uh, it's a Neebs. We know about MTTG's traditional sitting around the campfire talking about special Christmas movies. I've started wearing a sad Santa hat all December for a few years now. Do you have any fun Christmas traditions you personally like to do to turn up the holiday spirit? Yeah, we, we're big on going and seeing lights. Yeah, man. Big on it. So, like, so one night we'll go to a place, like, you know, that's doing lights and, you know, pay for your car to go through. And then another night we'll just, drive around drive neighborhoods around, just yeah. looking for houses with lights and then uh another night a separate night we'll go down to um the gaylord hotel is that mm. what it's called opryland hotel. opryland hotel and uh and they have all their lights set up and then we have a dinner there uh while oh very there. nice that's awesome so yeah that's our that's our thing that cranks it up uh by the way christmas tree lighting in downtown franklin this friday oh nice oh good i won't be there yeah me too <laughs> yeah, please, I went Ed. last year. Oh I was my very God. underwhelmed. If you, if you show up, I'm. Oh, no, I said amazing. I'm not going to be there. Oh, you should. It'd be fun. Yeah, me either. No. We went. <laughs> we went last year, and they were like three, two, <laughs> exactly one. 
I wonder if I wonder if they're going to turn out these lights. Go, yep. And you were like, all exactly. right. <laughs> and like they they had worked it up like they're going to turn off all the lights on the street and blah, blah, blah. They left all the lights on, like the I street know. lights and everything. It was literally like somebody flipped the switch like blink. You're like, oh, yeah, I, I'm, I know I ain't brave all this. But my mother-in-law is very excited because Kathy Lee Gifford is hosting. Hosting? I didn't even know there was a host. Yeah, never mind. I'll actually be moving to Spain instead. She's she's emceeing, I should say. Sorry. Yowzers. Yep. yep, yep. Well, there you go. Uh, Let's see. What do we got? Uh, Anybody else? Who? Ed, what do you guys normally do? Uh, We open presents as soon as they arrive in the mail. That's, That's right. right you God. do. Yes. I love That's that. Our only Christmas tradition. <laughs> I love That's that amazing. tradition. Um, we're we tend to just watch a few things. We we will watch Rudolph when it comes on television. Oh, nice. A lot of times, my mom especially, and then I, me and Stacy try to catch it if we if we realize that it's coming on. I like to watch um, Home Alone. It's one of the oh, Christmas movies. Oh, nice. I like That's to a watch. great one. Yeah. And we actually already have. We watched it the day after uh, Thanksgiving. Nice. Uh, because it's on Disney Plus, I was like, "Huh, what do you know?" Oh, is it's it right here? Yeah, it is. Oh, and, and two and oddly three. enough, three is on there too. Yeah. Uh-huh. I forget three is a different kid, though, right? Yeah, yeah. it's a totally yep. different kid. Yeah, and two is basically one again, but just in New York, <laughs> right? So, but still a lot of fun. Um, that's really it that I can think of outside of putting up the tree. But I feel like everybody has that tradition. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we do the we do the same thing. Um, right after the holiday, uh, the Thanksgiving break, we are. We're kind of in full mode. We've got our elf in the shelf going. We yeah. are, um, <laughs> and we watch. Uh, I think the the main ones are Arthur Christmas, Elf, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, and uh, Home Alone. Those those have been kind of on repeat, and they're just awesome. So we enjoy them. There you go. Yeah. I like it. Uh, all right, Facebook. Omar El Mokafshi. Hey guys. Happy post-Turkey Day. Hope all your leftovers have been eaten by now. Okay, it's your day off. Nowhere to go. Mm. Nothing to do for several hours. Internet is down. Mm, okay. You open your game library or disc collection and want to go slightly old school. What game do you grab and just go to town with? P.S. There's plenty of cool bar arcades here in Charlotte, North Carolina called Abari. Mm. I totally recommend y'all check it out if you're in town. Yeah. Next time you're in Charlotte, man, Abari. Exactly. A-B- we love A-B-A-R-I. Charlotte. Charlotte's Go. awesome. Um, uh, all right. All right. Internet's down. What old school game are we going with? Shoot. That's a good question. Uh, let me open up my drawer of games. <laughs> Shoot, man. That's a tough one. No internet. Spider Man. That's a good one. That's the one. Like that's that. the one I'm Yeah, that's at. a good one. That's a fantastic one. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, what say you, Chris? Um, honestly, most of the time when I don't have internet or I'm just not near Wi-Fi or whatever, I, I will play uh, Runner 2. Oh, that's right. You love oh, that. Oh, nice. Yeah, and I have it on Vita and PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4. So regardless of where I am, I should have it somewhere. There you go. I love that. Uh, Ed, I'll jump into some Uncharted. Ooh, there you go. Will yeah, you? There you go. Yeah, there you go. Okay. I'm going. I'm going Witcher three. I'm going there ham go. on Witcher three. Oh god, it! I oh man, I should have beat that game. Ah, oh, so good. Jeez, so good, so good, so good, so good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Over on Twitter at Dopealicious, design a fun VR workout game that you don't realize is a workout. Beat oh, Saber. Also, <laughs> I know. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Exactly. It exists. He, yeah, yeah, he, he, also, he, he also has an update because last week he said he was going through some stuff. Apparently, there were some baby tests that came back with no chromosomal defects. Nice. Doctors are still very concerned, but I'll take all the good news they got. So apparently, yes. yeah. just, oh, right on, man. Absolutely. They're just having a, a few little issues there. Man, we are holding it down for you. Don't you worry about it. It's all yeah, going to be good. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, Glad, though, that that first hurdle was jumped. Yes, that's a, that's a, that's a big one. Mm-hmm. So. That's great. There you uh, go. So, yes, design a fun VR workout game that you don't realize is a workout. Hmm. I mean. Uh, like punch out? Like a punch out kind of a thing, maybe? Yeah, I, mean, I would love a, a fight night boxing game. Right? They have yeah. a boxing VR yeah, have workout. A, I haven't played it, though. Is it any Creed good? game. Yeah, I, I saw that Creed one. Is it any good? Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I just would, can't imagine 
it just you just I get so hot playing Beat Saber. If it's an actual, I can't I know, even imagine. Right? Yes, yes. Doing it more than Sweating. once. Amen to that. Yeah. Right. What do you think, Tim? Yeah, I'm. I, I yeah, I'd go with like a some sort of a boxing. Well, I wonder if I mean, you could do like a uh... cross country skiing. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Which is like actually that. a pretty amazing cardio workout. So. Yeah. The only problem with VR is that your feet don't get involved really. That's true. Right. And so, I mean, mm-hmm. but you could still be doing arms. the side to side, you know, with mm-hmm. the sticks and everything like that. And it's still, yeah. yeah, do the trick. I would think you can do that. Still get sweaty. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Uh, at Derek, uh, L Putnam colored or white Christmas lights. White. Chris. White. Uh, I like the colors better, but mm. I mean, there's definitely an elegance to the white. Our Christmas tree is, it's the one where, it's a fake tree, and so the lights are built in or whatever, yep. and they're, yep. they're white lights. Yep. yep. So. Ed? Yeah, ours is the same. We have the white, but I think I like the color better. Do I you? like I, the color. I Ooh. like, like, the white lights are the best, I think, on the outside for decorating, like, on garland and that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, I, did, I remember just growing up, we always had, I loved colored lights. I mm-hmm. always thought they I have they a little USB so Christmas tree on my desk that I use, I take to work, like, to decorate the few things I do to decorate my desk, and it has the colored blinky lights. Oh, nice. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Nice. All right. Final question at uh, MTTG Brazil team, Mr. Pastor Lucas Ham. Yeah. So what was the best and worst dish that you ate during Thanksgiving this year? And besides eating, what was your favorite moment or activity with those you celebrated with? We didn't have a worst. Yeah, we didn't either. Yeah, yeah. Man, it was all good. There was no, with, when my mother-in-law cooks, there is no worse dish at all. Like, I liked the it. cake more than the pie, if that, if that Ooh, counts. did you really? What, what yeah. kind of cake did you have? I think it was from Nothing Bunt Cakes. Ooh, yeah, that's there good. there you go. Yeah. That's good. And it was really good. But then, you know, the pumpkin pie was good, but, like, mm-hmm. oh, something about that cake was real good. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, we didn't have worse. Um, my favorite thing was just sitting around, being with family. You understand, man, with three kids. You know, when you say fun. Right. You know, mm-hmm. but like, yeah. you know, we all went to my Every mom's day is house. Every fun with them. Yeah, exactly. We went to my mom's house and chilled out and, you know, hung out with my brother and talked tech stuff and things like that. So, yeah, that's good. so great. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Edward? Yeah, we didn't definitely didn't have anything bad at all. Um, my, my highlight was probably at one point I was going from the kitchen to the living room where they were playing Beat Saber and I passed the dining room where people were playing settlers of Catan and just hearing everyone laughing yeah. from like right. all the rooms. I just kind of c- stopped and paused and was like, this is really nice. Yes. Come on now. Well played, sir. Well yeah, played. Love it. That's great. Love it. Love it. I thought we were Chris? supposed to say a best food. <laughs> I'm over here thinking of food the whole time. Well, yeah, no best and worst food. And then also best. You oh, know, what, okay. What okay. Was, gotcha. So, what was your favorite moment or activity with those you celebrated? Understood. Uh, well, I did not same as them, but there really wasn't like a worst on the food side. Um, yes. Best is uh, my Stacy's brother brought um, brisket. Oh, so, my God. So we had, nice. we had nice. ham and turkey and brisket and stuffing mm. and mac and cheese, and we had all of it. Uh, so all of that was really good. But I wasn't expecting the brisket, even though I think he has done it in the past, but I completely forgot about it kind of thing. Oh, nice. Um, so that was really good. And then, uh, I mean, I think it's kind of the same thing. So with the nieces and nephews over, we played Giant Uno. So these big, huge Uno cards. <laughs> oh, that's cool. that's know, watching football and just having everybody be around and just hearing the conversations going on, people catching up and reminiscing and whatnot. Just, just it's fun times. I love it. That's, that's great. awesome. Tim? Yeah, uh, we didn't, there was not a, a, a bad dish in the place. I got to say, like, my wife made a mean coconut custard pie. Really? Like, and she did it, like, the night before uh, with all of her spare time. And it was <laughs> yes, just, really. it was really delicious. So I really enjoyed that. Um, and, yeah, it was so much fun. We usually have a tradition now where we uh, get uh, from any of the children or, you know, older children, we do uh, gingerbread houses. And so we make gingerbread houses. It's just oh, hilarious. Nice watching Piper eating most of the, the icing instead, just like cramming it in her mouth. And, mm. uh, but they, they get to decorate all their, um, their gingerbread houses. And it's, that's always a lot of fun, but I just, I just love being together, eating and, and having a good time. I like it. So, that's awesome. That is it for all the questions. Thank you so much, everybody. Mr. Patillo, let's do this. Oh, I'm oh, so excited. Wait. I'm so excited right now. Oh, 
Let's do this. All Come right. On. The question of the week for you guys this week is what is your top 10 video game characters of this decade? 2010 mm. to 2019. I told y'all to get ready. Mm-hmm. I warned y'all last week. Let's go. We're going decades this month. So favorite video game characters of this decade. Now, remember this. This is not your top 10. My top 10 is not Chris's top 10. Mm-hmm. These are top 10s for us. I, you guys are going to hear some of mine, I know for sure, and be like, what? In place of this person in this game over here? Right. right. And maybe I didn't play that game. Exactly. So, you know, these, this is not the end all be all of, we're not saying these are the top 10 greatest characters of this decade. Right. This is right. our top 10 exactly. greatest characters yes. of this decade. Yeah. Tim Router. Yes. Why don't you uh, kick it I'm off ex- for us? I'm I, I think we all have a top 10, and I think me and Ed have some honorable mentions. <laughs> oh, I got, tw- I got 12 for you. I got 12. So <laughs> okay. Let's do this. All right. We're gonna, I've got two honorable, honorable mentions. Number 12, Pagan Min from Far Cry 4. Ooh. Mm. Just great villain. Loved yeah. like, everything about him. Uh, number 11, Edward Kenway, AC Black Flag. Oh, wow. He didn't make top oh, 10. Nice. I thought he'd be top 10. No, I did no, too. Because, because number 10 so would I. be number 10 would be Ezio Alditori. I have to give it to AC Brotherhood. One of my first games that I played. Yeah. Actually, I think it was the second game that I played and just absolutely fell in love uh, with with Assassin's Creed. And just and he was just uh, so much fun to, to play. Mm hmm. Number nine, I've got Delson Rowe from Infamous Second Son. Oh, look at that. Ooh, really? Nice. Uh, because it was, you know, the launch of the, the PS4, uh, you know, we got, I mean, there was a lot of things combined with that. The fact that I knew Stancil was on this as well. And just, you know, it was, I, I, and I just enjoyed his character. And that was my first real platinum too. So Delson has kind of a little spot mm-hmm. in my heart, which is, there you go. Which is really great. Uh, this is a little bit odd, probably, but it's one of the games that I put the most amount of time in. But I'm going Cass- number eight, Cassandra from AC Odyssey. Oh, really? Because, that deep? Eight? Because I put, yeah, and I would think because I put so much time in her that she'd be up further. But I, I had to give her at least a nod uh, because I, as I was going through this, I'm like, nah, there's a couple more that were just way more impactful. But just for length of time and how much I spent with her. She's she's on there definitely top 10. So there you great. go. Number seven. This is when it's everything starts coming down. Uh, number seven is kind of it's a, a duo. Booker DeWitt and Elizabeth from Bioshock Infinite. Oh, there you go. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, and then number six, the the, the dynamic duo. Oof, this was a good one. Clementine and Lee. Telltale Walking Ooh, Dead season one. Yeah. Uh, number five, uh, just enjoyed the mess out of this guy. Borderlands two, handsome Jack. Oh, there nice. you go. There you go. Good one. Uh, number four will be Nathan Drake uncharted. Yeah, there you go. Number three will be Kratos from God from God of war. Yes. Number two. Gerald of Rivier. Oh, Ooh, there he is. Really? I knew he's going to be on your list somewhere, which of course he's going to be there. Number one, Joel, Last of Us, done. Yep, yep, there you it. go, yep. there you go. Just can't, can't beat it, can't beat it. So, there you go. <laughs> I like it. Uh, Chris McCracken. Mm-hmm. None Let's of see. you were surprised by any of that, yes? No, that was great. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> that had some surprises in there, in there for me. All right, cool. <clears throat> and um, some of ours were exactly the same, Tim. Yeah. Like, the oh, number and right. everything. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. So we'll have to we'll see when we get there. <laughs> We're trending then. That's <laughs> I, awesome. I know. Chris? Twinsies. Um, I do not have any honorable mentions. Yep. Nice. Uh, I found this way harder to even fill out a top 10 than yeah, the yeah. rest of you guys seemingly did. Mm. And it could be that I was just maybe overthinking it a bit and and uh, in some respects underthinking it, even though I had a good amount of time to do it. It's like I could if I waited another week and a half, I'd probably come up and change some things on the list. Yeah. Um, I just I found that I don't really feel like there's a ton of characters that I really feel like, and I know this isn't particularly the question, but like a connection with, and like when I have a connection, I do have much more memory to it. Sure. But there's a lot of characters I think are really cool for X, Y, Z reasons, which there's a few on my list that it'll, that'll Mm kind of make sense. Um, But I was trying to pick characters that I had a, like when I played the story, like, oh man, I connected with that character or or I really connected with this aspect of the character. 
and I found myself struggling. Like I could think of a lot of games I really loved, but just when I narrowed down to single characters, I was struggling a bit. But here yeah. is my top ten. Number ten is Claptrap. Hey, oh nice. Hey, nice. nice! Oh nice. nice! The best thing about Borderlands is Claptrap, in my opinion. Yep, nice. I love it. Um, number nine is Captain Price. Ooh, I really like that he came back. Yeah, I'm a oh, big okay, fan. Okay. So Captain Price, the new one. Number eight is Senua from Hellblade. Wait, so Chris, that's the new one, right? That is the new. Because yeah. I went to put well, Captain Price on my it, on my list too, and I was like, ooh, but I didn't like this Captain Price as much as I liked the original Captain Price. I, I oh, mean, okay. well, even though it was a different actor, to me they felt the same. So yeah. I just felt like the first <clears throat> one really took me through some things. Uh huh. Um, but that was just me. But that's yeah. awesome because I totally was gonna have them on my list too. Mm-hmm. Um, number eight is Senua from Hellblade. Ooh, oh, nice yeah, I didn't one. play that. Shoot. Number seven is Aloy from Horizon Zero Dawn. Nice. I, yes, I knew she was gonna be, be on somebody's list. Yeah. Number nice. six is Ellie. Oh Ooh, yeah. From the last okay. List. Number five is Mirage. <laughs> Hey, yes. Now that's from what Apex. I'm talking about. Like, there's not really much story, and you don't know much about the character, but he's yes. such a fun character. Yes. So he, he's yeah. on there. Nice. I like that. Um, number four is Joel. Nice. Mm-hmm. Number three is Lee from The Walking Dead. Nice. Wow. Number two is Kratos from 2018's God yes. of War. Nice. Yep. And then number one, Come on. for different reasons, really, is uh, Venom Snake. From Metal Gear Solid Five. There Ooh, you go. Nice. Well I like it. Yeah. Ooh, I, <laughs> love so cool, I love this. Man. Yeah, I love this. I love this. This is fun. This is great. Uh, who's next? All right, Edward. Ed. I was like Chris, where I thought I was like, man, this is going to be so hard. I'm going to have so many, and I only had eleven I could think of, just because the same. Like I loved the Watch Dogs games, but I the characters weren't really anything. Yeah, that, that's right. right. So that's yeah, what was, was interesting about this, and then yes. this is what we want to say to the people listening. This is not about the game. This yeah. is about the character. There was so many games I skipped. I was like, dang, love that game. But yeah, didn't connect any characters. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so my honorable mention is from 2010, uh, John Marston in Red Dead Redemption. There you, oh, go. There you go. I was surprised uh, we hadn't yeah, heard of Red that Dead. Game was <laughs> earlier than that. Yeah, no, I did 2010. too. 2010. Wow. Yeah. Uh, number 10 from 2013, I just went with Elizabeth from Bioshock Infinite. Nice. nice. There you go. Because she was so good at finding me some ammo. That's right. <laughs> uh, number nine from 2012, Far Cry 3's villain, Vaz. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Vaz. baby. Yeah. Yep. Uh, number eight from 2014, here he is again, second son, Delson Rowe. Nice. Oh, good. Uh, good, good, good. Uh, number seven from 2011, Batman Arkham City, the Joker. Oh, oh well gosh, played. so good. Well played. So good. Shoot, I forgot about that. Uh, number six from 2016, Mafia 3, John Donovan. Dang it, dude. Good call. <laughs> <laughs> I totally forgot about that game. It's so good. Uh, great call. Number five from 2012, Telltale's The Walking Dead. I chose Kenny. Uh, oh, yeah. Nice. yeah. Uh, that makes nice. sense. Gavin yeah. Hammond. Uh, and 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 just and, and not only for that game, but then for his appearances in the later games as well. I I really enjoyed that. Spoiler mm-hmm. alert! I'm just kidding. Oh yeah, spoiler <laughs> alert! Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, number four from 2018, God of War. I went with Mimir. He cracked me up. I'm so oh, yes. surprised Chris I didn't go to with put Mimir. Him on there so bad. <laughs> Why didn't you put Mimir? I, I could have swore perfect. you were gonna put Mimir. I did yeah, too. And honestly, like that's what I'm saying. Like, it, give me two days, and I'm probably gonna be like, "All right, you know what, Mirage, I like you, but Mami, you know, I it, it just flip <laughs> right. on me, you know, yeah, either one." Right. Uh, my number three from 2018, Red Dead Redemption Two, Arthur Morgan. Nice. Uh, number two from 2016, Uncharted Four. I went with Nathan Drake. Mm-hmm. Nice. And then my number one character from 2016, just because it's so hard to choose, but they're the face of the game. I went with Tracer from Overwatch. That's number one. I, heard, I really wanted a an Overwatch character. I was just like, ah, I yeah. can't narrow it down. Yeah. yeah. Tracer's yeah. number one for you. Yeah. Tracer. And, and, wow. And just, j- pretty much just because she represents all of the characters for me, I guess. Yes, I trust yeah. me. Yes, I was right there with you, bro. And I was I was so bummed that I didn't have anyone on there from Tales from the Borderlands, my favorite game, but it was more of the cast in that one yeah. rather than one particular character. Yes. That was a tough yes. one, Gabe. Tough one. That's I loved a, it. Gr- I know. That's a great list, man. Struggling. Well done. All right. All right well, Gabe. you guys have pretty much said my list. Mm. And all you guys' lists uh, are pretty much mixed up. 
Uh, my honorable mentions, though, uh, was Mirage from Apex. Oh, nice. Right. I've nice. got three of them. Tracer <laughs> from Overwatch. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. <laughs> and uh, Celebrimbor from Shadow. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. From uh, what's the name? Shadow. Uh, Shadow what's it called? War. Shadow, Shadow of War. War and Shadow oh, okay. of yeah, dang it, I forgot about that. He Good was the call. guy, the wraith that would yes. be around that would talk to you in between. Oh, he just had done. such a depth to his voice and like yep. I don't know, I just loved him. Where I felt like uh Talion could be slightly one note, not completely one note, but you know what I'm saying? He was like yeah. Yes, yeah. You know, I and you know, I don't know, I just like Kellen Brimboy. All right, ten. Two thousand eleven, uh Cole McGrath from Infamous Two. Oh, Ooh, well played. nice. Cole. I, I love that he was um kind of the anti-hero he like didn't really want to be a hero yeah. um but he was kind of thrust into that role and so you know you kind of got to rock with him from one to one to two um mm -hmm. number nine is actually batman from the arkham series Ooh, nice. very nice um, I, I loved his portrayal i loved his voice i love yep. that the actor who plays his voice is actually playing actually him <laughs> yeah. on the cw now yeah uh, that's crazy um number eight i went with booker dewitt from nice. bioshock nice. infinite 2013 nice. Uh, number seven is going to um, make some people mad because of the question I asked a couple weeks ago. But I'm going to go with uh, Super Mario Odyssey's Mario. Okay. Well, I think that nice. Mario is the consummate hero. I think that he loves Princess Peach, and he's always down to go get her no matter what he has to go through. So I'm going with Mario. There you go. Number six, I went with 2012's Vas Montenegro. Ooh, nice. From Far Cry 3. I Archive thought he was a three, great baby. villain. Yes. Um, I felt like he, even though he wasn't in the game that much, I felt like he was the face of that game. Yep. Yeah, he was. Mm -hmm. um, number five, I went with uh, Peter Parker from Marvel's oh, Spider-Man. Yeah. All yeah. right. Uh, I, I loved yep. that game. It's going to be in my top 10 probably of the decade. Maybe I have no idea. I have to really like sit Definitely. down and wrestle with it. Mm -hmm. um, but I thought at the end of the day, even though I didn't like him early on, once I thought about all the things he had to go through to create that character in the sense of like, do his lines regular. Now do your lines grunting because you might be swinging yeah. and the way they programmed that all together. I thought that was just really cool. Mm -hmm. um, and then these are about to sound very uh, parodish. Uh, number four, I went with Nathan Drake, but only in mm -hmm. Uncharted 4, actually. Yep. That's what if, I did okay. the same. Yeah. If it wasn't for Uncharted 4, I don't know if Nate Drake would be this high on the list. Yep. Yeah. Um, number three, and number three and two and one are all going to have something very similar, and I'll explain it afterwards. Three is Kratos, God of War 2018. Mm -hmm. um, number two is Lee Everett from The Walking Dead. Yeah. Well I couldn't done. remember well his done. last name. Yep. Yeah. It's Everett. Yeah. <laughs> and number one, I went with Joel from The Last of yeah, Us. Yeah, 2013, nice. I had to. And yep. three, two, and one for me, when I first was making this list, I just, I looked at them all as dads mm -hmm. in, in different mm, ways. Yeah. And call. how they looked after the children that were in their care. Obviously, Lee and Joel weren't actually their parents, yep. um, but they took on that role and they, they, carried that burden i felt like especially kratos with grace but it took a minute yeah you know what i'm saying like kratos didn't like act like he loved his son at the very beginning right and right. so you kind of like really feel him come around and he has a i i think i feel like his character really grows mm -hmm. and so uh yeah man oh i can't wait to hear uh, these jokers oh, lists man right? this is gonna be so that much fun next week awesome um, so let us know you guys' top 10 characters of the decade. And I'm going to ask these guys again, if you can, to not peek at the answer to the question of the week. Okay. No problem. Just so we can get that visceral reaction nice. from you guys. Okay. I think it'll be awesome. Yep. It's going to be hard not to look. Mm -hmm. I know, right? Um, but this is going to be so much fun. I'm so excited to do these. Uh, mm -hmm. So let us know, and we will talk about them next week. And two, if you want to, especially those of the, those in the Discord and on the Facebook group, where you can kind of type longer, let us know what you guys thought of our lists. Um, we'll yeah. put them up. We'll put them up on Twitter. We'll gather them all up and and put them up so you guys can see all of our uh, our top ten characters of the decade. Nice. That sound good. Will everybody hit me on Hangout with your top ten? Got it. Yeah. Uh, just the top ten. We don't have to do the honorable mentions, but the top yep. tens, and we'll we'll throw them up there. That'll be fun. Oh man, this is gonna be a great oh, time. Oh, that's good. Um, well, 
that's 377 in the books. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> there you go. That's it. Right? Yep. I'm Gabe Patillo. That is Tim Router. That is Ed Placencia. That is Chris McCracken. And we are married to the games and we are up out this thing.